Hey guys, what's up? So, I have a little haul from Amazon and AliExpress. So, let's get to it. I'm going to start with this. Now, this is a cheapo paint set with kitty paint, and I just took it out of the container. I will show you the container in a different video, but I'm going to use this for just doing a flat wash or what have you. Um, because waste not want not in my humble opinion. So, um, but I'm using the case for something else. And incidentally, I like using all my paints. So the only paint that I have conserved is my Selenier because it's super duper wicked expensive. And, um, when I get better and as I improve, and I think I have, um, with my watercoloring, then I will break it out and make a palette. I have all of the things to do so because they are in tubes and, um, yeah, I plan on doing that at some point, but for now, I'm just going to stick with all the different ones like my Tombi Gonsai palettes and my Paul Rubens and um, my Holbeins, etc. So <clears throat> in any event, the point is, is I don't find that a waste or anything like that. And it's not too terribly expensive that I'm afraid to go ahead and use those. But the Selenier, on the other hand, yes, that <laughs> is a little pricey. So I am waiting to use it. But anyway, okay. So then next up, I have these, and these are the Santis Tapered Tips Dispensing Needles. And I showed these before. I did go ahead and get the 20 gauge. It came broken from Amazon. What are you going to do? Um, and these are tapered tips to refill your fountain pens with. And yes, I'm being precocious with my hands today because my nails are wet. <laughs> so there's that. So instead of using a needle, and I've shown the red ones, the, I think they're 25 gauge, they're red, um, that you have no, you can't poke yourself with these because these are plastic. Anyone who's in the medical field, they, yeah, they pretty much know about those. So this was my idea and I shared it previously in a different um, haul, like I said, using the 25 gauge ones and I'm going to use that to refill my pen fountain pen that my family gave me my mom and dad specifically when I was seven so there's that little ditty and I just keep them in a drawer beside me as it were and then I guess on the along the same vein I'll go ahead and show you as I scoop back up this little thing. Now a de-soldering bulb for soldering irons. And I was turned on to this by another fountain pen person. Channel below. She seems so sweet and nice and down to earth and I really appreciate that. So this was her idea. And you can clean your fountain pens with this. It has this little tip on it. It comes off for cleaning. So... I just went ahead and got that as well. And then let's do AliExpress. So I've taken the packaging off of all of these. Pardon me, I had to sneeze. Ooh. And sneeze again, as it were. <laughs> so I got these six packages. And they're different ones off of AliExpress. Okay. So hopefully my sneezing fit is gone. But these are from the stickers that I bought. And I'll keep the packaging to use in my art journal and what have you. And I just stuck them all in this bag. Um, just to keep them all contained and whatnot. So... They're super cute. They're just kawaii, different kawaii stickers. So I just put them all in here. 
for now, temporary holding place for them. And then that little cheapo paint set did come with this little paint cheapo paintbrush. So, oops, it fit right in here into there. And I will just put this with my other paint brushes and, like I said, use the um, paint. So, and then I have these now. I was pricing out the lobster hold things to keep the lobster. But I found these. They're called Ranger Bands. You can use them for a variety of things. And these were less expensive than the lobster claw holders. But they're the same thing, really. So you can hold, use this to hold on to your fountain pen with. It's just this rubbery thing. And they stretch out and then pull your the nib out of your fountain pen. So I got those based on her recommendation. I thought that was a brilliant idea. But these were less expensive. So I just went ahead and got these. Um, and I think these are a set of like, let's see if it says... Made of EPDM rubber for outstanding heat UV, UV and salt water resistance. All bands are extruded from rubber. 101 uses. So you get 40. 40 count. Okay. But yeah. That's why I got those. So I will put them in my fountain pen supply drawer right beside me here. I think those will come in handy for sure. And then... Let's go with this. Now, these are labels, and they are round labels. You get a thousand of them. Hot color products, and these are the three-fourth inch. There's the skew. In case, oh, focus. In case you were interested in that. And that's all they are. If you could see, just little labels. So I got those as well to label different things like my excuse me my fountain pen ink drawers just amongst other things but specifically for that and I have the one fourth inch for um, doing ink swatches on the top of my um, distress ink because I store them like this and I have them labeled with the name, but I want to see the color. So these are for my fountain pen inks and whatever else. And then the one fourth inch ones are for my Ranger inks. And I showed that in a different haul. Okay, and next up I have these. And I've held these before. These are just the Fiskars tweezers, reverse tweezers. I kept the packaging so you could see. It had a little plastic thing on top. And I just got another pair of these um, so I can keep it in my little pouch, my pen pouch, if you will. Okay, and then next I have this. And this is the Delphonics pouch for carrying tools. It is made out of cotton, and this is the extra small size. And I thought this was super cute. I have the yellow ochre one. And... That one I have in medium and in small, and this is extra small, so I thought it would be cute to have one of these. I also got the medium one, but I just figured I'd show you one. Okay, and then next, I got this. This is super cute. It is a very thin tin for paint, okay? And I thought that design was super cute, the night sky. And it just opens like that. And these already have a, um, the palette pans, and they already have the magnet on them. I do have the magnet tape, which I've shown on the haul, I think, last year or the year, be the year before last, rather, in 2018. You can see that on my art supply um my art supplies playlist and then that but what i think i'll do is i'll paint that white enamel on this part and that before i go to use this 
and when I'm ready to use it. This is not for the Selenier paint though, because I already have that set for what I want to use. I have those ch little Chesterfield tins. So there's that. Okay, moving right along. Next up are these beauties. Okay, and all of this is, I'm not going to even bother to take it out. It's a whole bunch of mini staples, and this will fit in your um, mini staplers, like I have a Midori one that came inside of my um, stationery selection box by Mitts. So the last month, which I didn't share um, a box opening on that, um, but it came with the tiny Midori stapler in it. And the beauty of this is, is they're rose gold. Can you not? So rose gold is totally my jam. So these are rose gold mini staples. So I thought that would be fun to use um, for that. So there you have it. And those are called size 10, by the way. So if you get the size 10, um, they will fit in your mini staplers. And also the Heidi Swap mini stapler that's like the tiny attacher by Tim Holtz. So there's that. And then next I have this glue. I'm already using it. This is a six pack, one, two, three, four, five, and I have the other one in my pouch. So this is glue. So this is a pinpoint ruler. Quickie glue, it's called. This is what it looks like. Cute with a little heart on the top. And it has a little piece there so it won't ooze out or dry up before you go to use it. So that's nice. So I have those. You can never be with, um, have enough glue if you do art projects. Okay, and then next I have this. And this is the Kokuyo Dot Liner. So this is the actual like machine. And then these two are just the refills. And this is the one with the hearts on it. And I think it's super cute. So when this one finishes and then I can just replace it, I have two backups. This came in a two pack. This came just like this. And, and actually no, this, I just ordered two of these. This is the package that this came in, in case you were wondering. If you just look up Kokuyo um, dot liner, it'll pop up on Amazon. And then these are the two packages that the refills came in, as you can see. So... And I thought that I would use this in my studio here and this in my to-go. So that's why I got the two different sizes, because this is super tiny. Now, I could not find the um, refills for these itty-bitty mini ones, but they were inexpensive, so I'm okay with that. And then next up, I have this, and this is just a... This is called a pen cutter, and it's basically like a ceramic, it is a ceramic cutter, like the green one that you get at Michael's. So it's just a ceramic blade, and then you can just slice, like if you want to get a little itty bitty magazine blurb and you haven't read the article, you can just cut around it. So instead of cutting with scissors, so I got this. And then last but not least, I got these. And even before I knew that this was made into a movie, I had this little blurb, you can look at my old videos, talking about my Mr. Rogers Neighborhood bubble 
Yeah, those are air quotes. Get over it. <laughs> and <laughs> anyway, so I found these and then I discovered, oh, there's a movie out. So, um, yeah, I like Mr. Rogers. Be kind, it says, hashtag neighbors. And we are all neighbors and then Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So these are just those like 80s buttons as you can see so these are back in style cool so anyway that my friends is everything so if you liked what you saw i hope you do consider subscribing to my channel and i hope this inspires you guys to get out there and create something fun as you like all right peace out